This video will present to you 12 music production tips that will make you a better producer. These tips come from my latest EP, Continue. Tip number one, beefy drums. Layering kick and clap creates a loud volume bump that is usually unnecessary. You can use a limiter to equal this out. or a soft clipper. A clipper will not only cut the spike, but also make the drums crunchy because of what's called a sub distortion. Layering sub frequencies with high frequencies and then distorting them will result in a top end getting a nice crunch. This technique can be used to add power to your drums and to make them saucier. Tip number two, top crunch. To make your super saw chords beefier, you can also use the sub distortion trick. First of all, let's start with the super saws. A beefy bass. A lead. Some volume animation to cut the unnecessary tails. Reverb to fill the empty spaces. And some filter to make things more interesting. Now add a noise layer. Group it with a sub bass. Distort the whole group and DQ out the lows. By doing this, you get a crunchy white noise that you can layer on top to make things super beefy. Tip number three, interesting intros. I've always struggled with making interesting intros, so here's a few elements that I found that working pretty well. Any atmospheric shot would be great. Go ahead and repeat it. Add an impact at the beginning of the song. Then we need some tension, so let's add this rhythmic plug. It works great because it adds rhythm to the section, so you can actually bounce to the beat, and it makes it less boring too. This is too dry of a sound, so apply some creative space effects. What also makes your tracks much more interesting are automations. Make this sound evolve by automating a dry wet knob of the space effects. Keep introducing elements with automations, in this case it will be a respace. and this atmospheric stab. The intro is still lacking character, so what we can do is to use a part of the existing melody from a further section to tease it. Do the same thing with vocals, they in particular add a lot of personality to the song, making it less dull. Sound selection is really important here, for the intro sounds for this track we need to use softer ones with not much energy. Tip number four, vocalized bass. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this super cool sound. Yeah. 
Start with the saw wave layered with white noise with a bit of processing to beef it up. Use light for pitch bends and draw notes like this. We want the sound to go up and then a bit down. Now let's add a vocal character to it by automating a bell EQ to go up and then down according to the MIDI. Now we form and filter automation vocalizes it even more. Now OTT to clean up the mud. Distortion to beef up the sound. Again OTT. Vocoder for some power. And optionally a reverb to widen the sound a bit. Again vocoder to make the sound beefier and more mid heavy. Shape the tone with an EQ. Now use a soft creeper to saturate the sound a bit, make the way for me cool, and that's it. Tip number 5, two songs transition. To make your songs transition well between each other on an album or EP, At the end of the first song, create a tempo automation if tracks have two different BPMs. It's great for them to be in the same key as well, but you can always automate the pitch if needed. At the end of the first song, take a melody from the second one and start introducing it. Add a sweep that goes up, but also make sure that it goes down when the second track starts. I like to use this brass for bass progressions. Make sure the taste from sounds from the first track go over the second track so that the connection is smooth. Simply render taste and put them on the track in the second song. Tip number 6, Melody Split. This is a melody trick that splits your one track melody into multiple track melodies to make it much more interesting. It's not about layering, it's about taking one melody and dividing it into different sounds. For example, this part will stay on the initial sound because it feels the most important. This part will get this sound and work as a counter melody. And the low notes will get a deep piano sound to work as a bass. You can experiment with this and choose any sounds you want. You can keep adding tracks too, with different sounds, to add notes that will support the main idea, giving a listener new and unexpected changes in your song. Tip number 7, rise anything. You can turn any sound into a riser for an energetic buildup simply by taking a sound and repeating it quicker and quicker.
Plus using a pitch shifter to rise it in pitch. I like to use a frequency shifter in certain occasions, it has that specific mechanical sound to it. Simply automate the fine knob. To make the sound fit better automate the filter if needed to fade it in. You can also use any pitch shifter and automate a pitch knob. Tip number 8. Creating personality. Did I already mention that this track features Will Smith? Keep my wife's name out your fucking... Yep. As you can see, well, I wasn't lying. Any types of voices, phrases or words add a ton of character to your songs and make them memorable because of the meaning that's included inside of them. You can add powerful words to increase an impact of the drop but you can also add words and sounds that connect to the feel of the song to make that song feel like it's taking place in a certain environment. <sighs> This tune is not from my EP, but it's worth showing as an example. Notice how using western and asian sounds puts the whole song on a desert with one man on a horse and an army of enemies that he's fighting. This instantly makes the whole song more like a story and not just a bland meaningless sequence of sounds. Tip number 9, section beef up. With this trick you will be able to beef up your drops and make them super loud. When you have a super heavy drop, you can add a soft clipper on the master and heavily limit the peaks. This is going to turn a very clean but not that saucy drop into a very powerful and rich one. You can turn this effect only on relevant sections, because in this case distorting soft elements for example in the intro would cause unnecessary crackly top, so we don't want that. Make sure to equal out the volume so that the drop matches all the sections, but do it by ear. If you squash the wave from so much, it will get super loud, but also will appear super small in comparison to other parts of the song. Don't get scared by this and don't adjust the volume by looking at the meters, rather go by ear and set the value that transitions well. Tip number 10, complex drums. Creating complex drum loops can be a difficult task, so in order to make that easier, record yourself beatboxing and then match the drum sounds with that recording. Beatboxing often gets pretty close to the ideal drum loop because of how much expression and variety in sound it has. The volume of the beat moves, there are different lengths of each sound, and drum sounds vary in their timbre. Once you record your beatboxing, now the task is to match each of the sound with a corresponding real drum sound. This technique makes it easy because you can focus on tiny bits of a drum loop to find proper sounds representing it, especially when drums are quick. As you can hear this part has a closed hat sound and this one is more open. 
It's really important to have these types of little changes for a drum loop to sound super expressive. Tip 11. Supporting sounds. To make your main sound more prominent, add supporting elements to it. In this case, we're having a vocal as a main sound. Then we are adding this monster like neuro bass that follows the rhythm of the vocal, instantly adding so much vibes to the track. This is more of a bigger sound, but you can also add smaller details. Like this laser sound. You can layer any sounds you want and get creative with it. Tip 12. Export issues. Did you ever notice that your song sounds differently after exporting it than it sounds inside the DAW? One of the reasons this is happening is because the sound's modulations aren't being re-triggered. That means that every time you play or export the same sound, it changes a bit. That's due to different starting positions of the waveform in a synth, to the unison of the sound randomly spreading in a stereo field, to effects that are using any time modulation that's constantly moving, and to even automation lines sometimes not getting a reset while going back in time. A simple solution for that is to use resampling, record the sound multiple times and pick a version that sounds the best to replace the original one. Repeat that for all problematic sounds and you will get the same thing playing in the DAW and on the export. So that's it for this video, hope the tips were helpful. If you want to take a listen to the EP, link is in the description. And if you want to see the making of, of the rest of this track, then I'm linking the playlist too. If you're looking for sounds, then oversample.us is a website worth checking out. You can find here sample packs like color based sample pack, hyperpop, drill, volume inspired sounds, cinematic sounds, huge 1500 sounds, future based toolkit, cyber pack with 2077 sounds. Also, there's a lot of free content if you want to check out. There's an effect rack that I released recently, this beefs up your sounds make them super beefy super strong there's portal high sparkles preset that a lot of people have asked about one of my favorite free products is this auto hotkey for ableton it speeds up your workflow by 99 percent basically allows you to do a lot of crazy stuff in ableton with just shortcuts ladies and gentlemen there's also sanchez number two in works it'll also be free please subscribe ladies and gentlemen if you enjoy the content share this content with people because we need a better society ladies and gentlemen we need people to learn we need people to gather knowledge and get better so that we can build a strong and powerful and incredibly powerful society that can fight aliens in the future we need to get bigger brains so our generations can fight with other planets you get it we have to think about it right now not later you get it like the video if you like but dislike if you dislike have a great day and see you soon